Right, this is going to be a really quick strip down of the rear brake calipers because it is raining. I'm just going to take the dust caps off the ends of the brake caliper sliding mounting bolts. I am going to take the caliper fully off because I want to paint the rear caliper up like I did with the front ones. I'm just going to put a clamping, a brake line clamping tool within the brake flexiers. There you go, that's clamped off. So it's not going to lose all of, all of its brake fluid from its reservoir. I'm just going to loosen that flexiers off a bit. Next stage, I'm going to unhook the brake handbrake cable. There's a sir clip, there you go. I've just drawn it out. I have loosened off this handbrake cable. It's just basically on the adjuster, it's a 17mm adjuster which is locked in place with a, a 13mm headed nut. You just draw it back and just make sure you've got plenty of play within that cable. So I'll tuck that way up, up there somewhere. Next, where the sliding pins go through the caliper, there are some Allen key bolts to mount the caliper onto the saddle and they're six mil allen key bolts for the mounting bolts for your calipers there's one at the bottom i've just taken out and one at the top here so we'll just draw these out and here's the second one that's been drawn out there we go next stage to loosen off a caliper. I might need a bigger screwdriver. A little bit tight this one. The next stage is to draw off the caliper from the saddle. This one is very tight at the minute, don't know why. There we go. Because I've cracked off the flexios end, I'll just unscrew that. Whoop, drops it, there you go. That's it off from the brake saddle. We'll just put that out of the way somewhere. Remove the old brake pads. Next stage, remove these bolts that hold this saddle onto the axle. 22 mil headed bolts. Okay now. And they will be tight. At least I can get a spanner on there now. I'll tell you what, the other side wasn't as awkward as this. Then again, the other side was more awkward for the release spring I did. At least it gives you an idea when you're doing this job that some of these bolts will be extremely tight. Once they are hand tight you can just draw them out with your fingers. Come on. There you go. That's one. So I have to get a spanner on that one. Should have got my ratchet out for this one. Two, and draw away your saddle or your brake caliper. That's going to need a good clean up. Next, I want to remove the brake disc. Just here, there's a keeping bolts, just in case of undoing that. Shouldn't be on tight, that tight. There you go. Remove that keeping bolt. Yours may be different, it may have a cone head towards the end of it so you can locate your wheel back onto your hub. There's two on this disc. There you go. That's your one removed. In case just drawing your, your brake disc away from your hub. 
and as you can tell it is fairly thin that one and that's it that's the brakes removed I'm going to pop off and clean these parts up and paint like I did with the front brake calipers <laughs> 